Fishmap here. Today I'm reviewing Minecraft. I've already reviewed Minecraft Xbox edition. I've already reviewed the Minecraft app, but I haven't reviewed the Minecraft PC game, the original. Probably should have done that first. This was suggested by Ms. Mega Maiga. I played Minecraft a little bit. You can see the epic failures of me playing Minecraft on my Rich Bomb Gaming channel. There is a playlist, I'll put the link in the description. I'll put the link to the playlist here. So you can click on that and go and see me fail. I've played through creative mode and the other one. And honestly, as a girl, going into this game, I could not have done it without Ryan. I tried to do it without Ryan and I died every time. The creepers just come and get me, I don't know how to keep them out, I don't know how to build things. Without a guide or without Google or a boyfriend, you are going to fail in this game. Having said that, it is really good and the stuff in it is really cute and funny and dynamic although it doesn't look that way. The simplicity of it is genius, absolutely genius and I definitely urge you to have a go at it but if you do have a go at it give it more than one chance and make sure you have some kind of guide or your phone open with Google when you do it or your boyfriend sat next to you because then you're going to get so much more out of the game. And also it's a great, it's got a great multiplayer platform although you will have to pay to have access to that. You have to pay to get the game, it's a one off charge, I think it's around £15, it's not much at all. But if you just want to play on your own, you can play on your own and then when you're really really good, you can join up with your friends and build like collaborative worlds. And that's amazing in itself as well. I'm sure some of you have had experience with Minecraft, maybe some of you haven't but you'll probably know what it's all about. It's all very blocky, very 8-bit, it's three-dimensional. You can have it in creative mode and just build and create if that's what you enjoy doing, or you can have it in normal mode, which is gonna bring creepers in, spiders, things like that that are gonna pose a threat to you, and then it's about survival, which is why it's called survival mode, that I can remember. Maybe starting in creative mode is probably the best way to go, so you can just um, grasp it and learn how to make things within the game. But as far as the game goes, it's really, really amazing. I've had very little issues with any crashes or anything. It's installed really well. It runs really well. It's a brilliant game and such a simple concept. And it really takes you back to just the bare bones of building and creating and surviving. So I definitely really like it. but. I kind of wish they had some kind of maybe drop down guide or maybe like a tutorial mode where you can hover over things to where it would say if you had this as well as this bit of wood you could make this and just simple things just to tell you but then they do have their website and I should have probably read what was on there but who does that? Who, who reads the instructions? Nobody reads instructions anymore. You need to put it in the game. So, yes, it's a very good game. I am going to give Minecraft four big fat moves just because it's really not clear what you're supposed to do to start off with. And I feel like I needed more of an obvious guide um, within it. But. Um, as far as it goes for the other stuff, it's very good. I love it. I love the cute little animals. I love the blockiness. I love how unique it is. So let me know your thoughts on Minecraft. Do you agree with what I said? Do you think I'm just stupid blonde? Just let all your feelings come out in the comments. Don't forget to like this video, share it with your friends and enemies. Subscribe if you haven't already. And I'll see you tomorrow.